if you are strong about in identity and access management concepts, then it is easy to learn about an Okta. And uh, one of the special thing here in Okta is there is no coding involved in Okta basic level or moderate level. But uh, at high level, we we require some. I mean, it requires. I mean, uh, it requires some coding level, coding knowledge. That too very basics. So. Uh, there are a lot of career opportunities with an Okta. I mean, uh, Okta is a booming tool currently in India. And we can see that there are many openings in uh, in India as well as in US also. Um, and uh, there are many tools uh, like Okta available in market. Like one is Ping, one is SiteMinder, one is SailPoint, all these tools are there. So why people are choosing an Okta, we'll, we'll go to find in further sessions actually why the people are, why the clients are looking for an Okta. Especially it is a basic, um, the basic thing is it is cost efficiency and uh, it has more features compared to the other tools. And uh, we, I mean, any, anybody can learn. People who doesn't have any IT knowledge also, if they know, if they know about, uh, if they know about how to use uh, public applications like uh, Facebook, YouTube, I mean, Insta generally, I mean, uh, they have a knowledge about the public applications like Swiggy, Uber, all these things. Like uh, I can say, I can simply say that uh, Okta will be like uh, what yeah, I mean, what action should perform for what task, what action should be performed. That is the main thing actually. If you click on add button, it will add the people. If you click on delete button, it will delete the people. It's, it's like very simple thing. So that is the reason people are choosing an Okta and it is easy to learn also. Uh, I just want to share my screen. Okay. So I just want to conclude how it will be like. Are you guys are able to my, see my screen? Yes. Yes. Uh, so here now, I just want to explain the three things here. These are the basic things. One is Active Directory. We should uh, we should have good knowledge in Active Directory, like what is an Active Directory, how it works, how it stores the user data, in what format it will show, store the user data. Active Directory is nothing but uh, it's a kind of database uh, uh, for every organization. I mean, uh, uh, for every organization, they are maintaining their Active Directory. So Active Directory consists of user data, application application data. I mean. Uh, uh, people's data, organization data, and departments, everything. It will store the data in the form of tree and branches. Like uh, it, is, it is just a, in the form of tree and branches. It will store the data, user data. And so the data will be available. I mean, the user's Hello. data. Hello. Yeah, for magazine here, uh, just only you started or? Uh... No, just now I started. I, I'm just telling about the overview. I'm not into the subject actually. I'm just okay, telling so about the overview. Because, How, uh, uh, no, no, no. I just want to tell about only how the authentication and authorization work actually. But I'll come okay. to that point. Active Directory is nothing but a database. Database is nothing but whoever the person enter into the company. If it's a new employee, yeah, once he enter into the company, that employee, that company and that user details will be stored in an Active Directory. So it will everything will be. I mean, every every user data will be stored in Active Directory. So from Active Directory, previously people are accessing. From Active Directory, people are accessing directly to that applications. In I mean, when Okta is not there actually, 
people are accessing directly to that applications with the by entering their username and password they are entering their username and password i mean their active directory username and password will be created initially once they are once they are onboarded into the not i mean active directory so automatically they will get a an username and password so with the help of that username and password they are going to uh, access the applications directly without any security i mean uh, uh, without any i can say that uh, with a minimum with a minimal security actually so what octa will do what octa will do exactly it's a very simple concept octa will integrate all these users to the octa that is the half of the thing i can say that we are going to learn in octa we are going to learn octa 50% of the thing we have to focus on this thing how the people are migrating from active directory to octa that's the main concept here and on the other hand how the people are accessing applications through octa so let's see that don't worry about the technical words i'll tell you clearly once uh, and if you go into it yeah see the user data as as i told you the user data will be available in active directory it will stored in active directory so active directory maintain that user data user data will be maintained by the active directory so the when uh, we are migrating i mean we are uh, copying i mean we can say that copy and paste actually simply in understandable language the people are migrating from active directory to octa so this process we will call it as provisioning this process we will call it as a provisioning and once they enter into an octa from octa they are going to access the applications this applications also going to integrate with an octa so octa will have applications and users so from ed means active directory apps so here we are integrating all the applications into an octa and we are integrating all the people into an octa so octa is maintaining all the user data and accessing authentication and authorization to the application like the user once enter into an octa octa will authenticate the user and it will provide access to the applications so octa we can say that octa is an identity provider so there are many tools in market like there are many idp identity provider tools are available in market so this is one of the tool what we are seeing here so this is identity provider it will provide the identity to the applications like for example uh, uh, if you want to sign in any application like uber is there right uber is the uber is an application everyone i hope everyone is using that uber i mean everyone is aware of that uber uh, let's take an example as a uber is an application if you want to sign in into the application called uber we will get an options like we can create an account first thing second thing is we'll have an option called sign in with google are you getting my point sign in with google there is an option called sign in with google is there right one second like uh, uh, let's take an example for block of data it's a general application so how we got it right so this is an application blah blah clar is an application and it is asking to sign in with email sign in with continue with facebook continue with email so these two are the identity providers actually these two are the identity providers this is an application which provide service to the user and these are the uh, identity providers which authenticate the user and it will share the details user details to the blah blah card so in the in the in the real time how octa will be like 
there is an enterprise grade applications i mean i mean in a, in every company they will de i mean uh, developers will develop their applications like uh, for example if you take any big organization a big organization means like a huge organization will contains so many so many hundreds of hundreds of applications are available i mean they are maintaining like there are de many departments if, if you consider an organization the organization contains a finance department bank department and uh, hr department and uh, uh, some other departments like um, uh, each department for example there is a hr department is there in every company the hr department will maintain the data everything like their attendance their leave request their uh, uh, goal settings and everything will be available in the hr related portal so it's a common portal that will be available for every company so that is a one portal what we are going to access in every company and uh, when the people are working in the company they used to log in with the applications like five to six applications they has to work on five to six applications per day so each applications has username and different passwords so in this case if the person forgot the password of the application he will raise a request like forgot password and he has to get a mail so that is one one of the process for more secure application there is another process like uh, they will uh, once if they raise a request then request will go to the support team the support team will validate and connect with the user and share the new password so with that new password again he is going to access that application so if one person is working on five to six applications in a company let's say, let's assume there are uh, 50000 people are uh, working in a company like 50000 people i mean 50000 users are there in a company and they are accessing n number of applications so for every application for every user has to remember their username and password so that will be very critical in a present situation it will be not it is not that much easy it will take a lot of uh, cost also for the support to maintain uh, if uh, like uh, out of 50000 users per day the request will come like 1000 people forget a password like it will come around 500 to 1000 people will forget a password so productivity of the productivity also will be impact on the day actually so to avoid all these things so there is a wonderful concept come into the picture that is called single sign on i can see it is a single sign on single sign on what is single sign on single sign on means nothing but we can sign in once and access multiple times so the users from the octa can sign in into the octa only once and he can access multiple times to the applications without entering username and password are getting my point user doesn't required to remember any username and password once user is authenticated through octa he can directly access to this application and n number of times he can access to the application yeah i'll show you for example uh, i have an account in octa so every user contains an account actually uh, like frame dot i just remember only this username and password that's all fine i just log in into the opta yeah this is my dashboard my apps dashboard like for example uh uh what are the applications required for me i mean what are the applications has to access what are the applications have permissions to me those applications will be display here in the form of icons like uh, there will be an icon called blah blah car there will be an icon called uber there will be an icon called workday hr portal so like this the icons will be available to the end user dashboard so once they click on this icon automatically they will sign into the application for example i'll show you this is the octa admin console this is uh, this is not an uh, user dashboard actually user doesn't have this kind of thing so we are going to learn all these things we are going to learn all these things in this octa in further so for example i'm just showing uh, uh, we'll we'll discuss about later 
uh, where I'm going and what I'm clicking and everything. Okay. So uh, there is a Mira Patel, one of the user is there. We have a user called Mira Patel. This Mira Patel is integrated with Okta. I mean, she came in, she came, she entered into the Okta and uh, user Mira Patel is a user which was created by the Okta actually. It is not came from the, it is not came from the active directory. So don't be confused actually. So uh, from active directory, it is a source from the, it is a client resource. It, it's a client resource actually, because client having this data, that is the reason we are integrating this active directory to Okta because we need to get the data from the client. So that is the reason here the active directory is involved for learning purpose. We can create, we can create the dummy users here and we can play. We can create the dummy users here. We can play. So this is an, uh, uh, this is a Mira Patel application. We can, we can create it simply the users here. It is very user friendly. We can understand anything. I mean, we can uh, easily, it is easy to understand how to create a people and everything. So users will be available here. So for example, yeah, let's take a Mira Patel, sorry. So then you can see this part is completed. Users are available in Okta. This part is there actually. So we are giving this users, uh, we are giving application access to this users based upon the client requirement actually. So if there is any application, if there is any application, let me, let me. I'm just creating one dummy application here. That's all. So from the application team, we got the details from the HSBC application team. They have a they have an app called HSBC Banking App. So they want to integrate that application to the Okta. Means this application team, like uh, HSBC application team, is coming to the Okta and they will give they will provide some data to the Okta and Okta will with the help of the data Okta will integrate that application like what I did now. Okta will integrate the application. Uh, Okta will integrate the HSBC application to the Okta, and they, then they are, they are having users also. So they will they will mention in the the application team will mention to the Okta administrators. This person has to access this application, and this person has to has not to access this application. Like that, they will give some uh, data to us. So. They will give like uh, there is a Mira Patel is there and Mike is there for example in the active in the directory I mean in the database in the Okta database also so they will say that Mira has to access this HSBC application like that they will, they will say for example like uh, I mean uh, user I mean I'll show you. Yeah, this is the banking app so. Our administrator, I mean, Okta, I mean, we decided to whom has to access, to whom does not access. So I'm assigning only this one, show back. Okay. I'm assigning to the Mira Patel also. So, okay. So I'm not I didn't assign for the pound part because he doesn't have a privilege to access this is application based upon his roles. Because based upon his role in the company, I mean, uh, they will decide who has to access this application, who to whom does not have to access this one. So done. So for example, this is my end user dashboard. So I also assigned this application myself. Sorry. Yeah, you can see. You can see, right? HSBC application. Here, 
in the end user dashboard, the application will be displayed here. So by clicking this HSBC application, user can directly sign into the user can directly sign into the here Okta is authenticating and Okta is providing the details like user is a good user and he's a correct user like that it will authenticate the user and it will send details to the HSBC then HSBC application will be directly open. So it is a dummy thing. It is a dummy application. So there will be, I don't have any account in this HSBC. So once if you get a genuine data, then you will see how it will work exactly. So without entering my username and password, I can sign into this application n number of times by clicking this. This is called single sign up. What you are seeing is called single sign up. So Okta is authenticating me and it is giving access to the application by, by, click, by giving a single click. Are you getting my point? Hello, guys? Yes. Are you getting my point? What is single sign-on? Because that is our agenda. Our entire agenda is single sign-on in Okta. So single sign-on is the main part in Okta actually. This is our agenda actually. Yeah. So that's what uh, we'll get the user data from the active directory to Okta. From Okta, we are going to assign these applications to the people. So Okta will authenticate the user and it will give access to the application. It will how it will authenticate the user because Okta having the user data called like first name, last name, and email address and everything will be stored in. See, for example, there is. Let's take this is a user and Okta contains the username, first name, last name, primary email and title of the title of the user and user, I mean, primary phone number, area, location, everything, all these things will be, uh, we are, we are, all these things will be, we'll, we'll get and we'll configure in this Okta. So once people enter into an Okta, so uh, then this Mira Patel can access the HSBC application with with her account actually okay, like for example let's take this Mira Patel. I'm logging with the Mira Patel. Okay. Yeah. See, now, for example, I'll create a new one, no problem. Maybe I forgot the password. I just want to create the user called Nagarjuna. This is a way of creation. This is a way of creating accounts here. and discuss all these things in detail. So we onboarded the person called Nagarjuna in this Okta. I mean, directly it was created by Okta. It is not come from the active directory because for that we need the server and we need the server connection and details and we need to do, that is a separate process. But that is a provisioning process. As I mentioned, this is the provisioning process that we will discuss when we started, when we start working on these things. So initially I created the user in Okta, I even now you got it one, you got the one point actually. User, I mean, uh, Okta contains their own active universal directory, which is called database. That is the one of the good feature which contains in Okta. See, Nagarjuna is the user which is created by the Okta and it is stored in Okta. It is not came from any, 
any i mean outside like active directory or ldap or oracle or database any database it was created by the own so nagarjuna account is created i can i can log in with the this gmail Maybe it is a cookies problem. Just give me a second, guys. Something must be wrong. Okay, no problem. We'll open some other site. Uh, do you have any? I mean, can anyone try this hmm? in your system? Hello. Oh, uh, we don't have like the Octa org. No, no, I'll provide. I'll provide. Okay. Okay. Can anyone try? When uh, yes. does anyone having a laptop? When all are joined in laptop only, right? I hope so. Yeah, I can try. Can you share your screen and or try to open that link? Chats. Yes, copy the username and password which I sent you. Yeah. In the chat. Just trying to access the site. Taking forever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's a capital O and everything is small. Octa123. Okay. Same thing. Yeah, let, let me share my screen. So we created the user success and user identity is verified success. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm given some dummy email. That is the reason it is not accepting. <laughs> okay. No problem. I'll, uh, can I can I go ahead and create any one person of, I mean, can I go ahead and create Jitu, your account? Can you provide yeah. me? Can yeah, you provide me? Yeah. yeah. Can you provide I'll, I'll me? Yeah. My email address, right? 
G2, I'm just giving G2 as your first name. And second name also, I'm giving just G2. We can change it okay. later. Yeah, can you ping okay. me your email address? Original yeah. email address? Yeah, just ping it. Okay. Okay. And you can set the password, right? I'll guide you. Okay. Yeah. So once I created the user, so it will be in a state called show you. So pending user action. So if any user created an Okta, if they didn't set any password, it will show pending user actions actually. So it is not activated. How, I mean, uh, how this Nagarjuna account is activated is, I'm the admin, I created, I set the password for the Nagarjuna and I'm going to share it personally, like through any security portal. So that is the reason it's already showing in active. So I hope, uh, Jitu, you got a mail, right? Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm creating a yeah. password. Um, I got an email saying uh, to activate the account. Fine. Yeah. You just, can you please uh, share your screen? And okay. password will not be visible. So don't, I mean, nothing to worry. It's okay. And I'm going to put a very generic password. So just for everybody's knowledge, uh, I've got an email saying to activate off account. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put capital O, A, A at the rate one, two, three. Create my account. Yes. You, 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 this is the end user console. This is not the admin console. Uh, does anyone having doubt on this? Because this is just an act of creation. Uh, this is just end user console. I mean, this is not a developer console. Developer console has uh, so for some permissions. So I'll show, I mean, uh, uh, Jitu, this is the end user console. I'm going to assign that applications to you and we can see whether you can able to access that application or not. So G Jitu is onboarded, is a new person is onboarded into the company and G2 details was entered into the active directory. From the active directory, uh, he, got, uh, he got the request like uh, provisioning request. We got a provisioning request. So we moved that person, G2, from active directory to Okta. So once he moved to Okta, that person will get automatically access to this application. Like by, by setting their own password or by sharing the password with that means. So it will be like based upon the scenario, every person who is having entered into an Okta, that Okta account has to be accessed by this end users. Okay. And Jitu, I'm going to assign on, on applications to you. Let me share my screen immediately. And you can share it later once I assign. Yeah. Everybody is able to see my screen, right? So this is just account creation Okta. Okay. And I'm assigning one application. We're just having only one application. I'm just assigning this. Save and go back. Done. You can you can you can share the screen, Jitu. Can you refresh? No, just go ahead and refresh. That's all. Reload it. Yeah, you got it right. You got the icon, right? HSBC banking app. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because, be. because I got the application team request call. This G2 is a privileged user. He has to please give the permissions to access this HSBC bank app to him. So can you click on that HSBC? Set some password. I mean, same password. Give that. Authenticate yourself. It is the first time it will lost actually. No, install. Click on install. It's a protocol actually. I'll tell you this later. Add to Chrome. This is a plugin actually. Yeah. Okay. Now you can go back, uh, go to that uh, portal. Close it and reload it. Yeah. Click on that. See, you are authenticating through Octa. So this is called single sign. Are you getting the point? This is called single sign on user is no need to enter any username and password. Only first time he has to authenticate. Can you close this one and try to click on that app again? No, no, close the HSBC app actually. 
close the two things. This this one, everything. Close the first, second tab first. Yeah, just just be here, be here, be here, be here. Hang on. Yeah, click now. This is authenticating through Okta because Okta having an account called G2 and G2 is authenticated with an Okta and he's able to access this application. So it will save a lot of time in the organization. That is that is our uh, that is the point of an Okta actually, and it will it will uh, manage the user details and it will manage the username and passwords and it will manage the user authentications and it will manage the user authorizations. Getting my point? So all this main, main uh, management uh, we can call as a user life cycle management. Once he enter into the organization to once he left to the organization, from entering onboarding to the organization to half boarding from the organization, entire thing we entire thing will be handled by Okta. See, it is very easy to create an application and it is very easy to integrate to Nocta and it is very easy to get the people migrating from Active Editor or we can create the users in Okta. Is there anything tough you guys feel here felt here? So you think uh... And Nagarjuna wasn't able to log in because he didn't click activate in his Gmail. No, no, no. Because for Nagarjuna, I didn't uh, give an option to set his password. Because there, there think, is a, yeah. yeah, I'll share my screen. I'll tell you why. There is a two cases are there. I can I can give a chance to the users to set their password. Generally, it is a good practice to give a chance to the users actually. So for example, you able to see my screen, right, everyone? So if I'm adding any person into an Okta, so there is a call, there is a uh, password, set by user, set by admin. I go for set by admin and I enter the password. I enable this one, I enter the password, then I click. So directly I can log in with the Nagarjuna username because I know the password, right? Because it was set by me. It was set by me. So that is the reason it will not send an email. So if I set the username, I mean set by the user, then it will also send the user activation email now. So whatever the email must be email we are giving right here. That, that email, uh, I mean the Okta will send an email to the to this email, like whatever you got, right? Activation link and everything, it will go to the user. So he can set the password from their email. That is a good practice. So these things will be sometimes you'll accept and sometimes because that is also I'm using the trial account, right? So there is an issue, but anyway, I'll uh, try to troubleshoot that one later. Yeah, this is what an Okta exactly. I want to tell you guys, this is what an Okta. Simply I'm telling that, but in the, in the course contain how the people are maintaining an active directory, how the people got provisioning in real time, how the people are uh, getting sourced into an Okta, how the people are assigning to this application, how the people are accessing these applications. But app integration is there. There are many types of app, app integrations are there. Uh, we have an easy method, which I did now, like uh, secure web authentication. That is one of the method. That's the reason I just uh, integrate an application within a fraction of seconds. So it's a very easy method. There is a many protocols out there that we are going to learn in further. What are the protocols we are using and how the protocols will work for uh, um, to authenticate the user and to give access to the user. Access, I'm, I'm just telling, I'm just speaking about the authentication here from the starting. Authentication is nothing but if the user is available in Okta, once it is authenticated from the Okta side, so it will give access. Authorization is nothing but there are the level of authorizations will be there. Like uh, in a company, uh, I'm the manager and uh, I mean, uh, there, is, there will be an associate will be there and uh, uh, associate will be there. Like for example, if you take a consultant level, there is a senior consultant, consultant and associate consultant. Associate consultant is there. So all the people will not have access to the entire application. Associate consultant will have limited access to this application. Consultant will have somewhat moderate level of access to this application. And, and uh, like uh, senior consultant will have, I mean, full access. So maintaining this kind of access is called authorization. I mean, authorization is maintained by the Okta. So this level of access also will be controlled by the Okta actually. So 
so for example uh, see i am the admin i am the admin in okta so i created the jitu account in okta so he got uh, he just he just become an end user that's all he just uh, he just uh, he just need that okta for single sign on purpose i can assign hundreds of applications to him directly so that in his dashboard in his end user dashboard like this there are 100 applications will be available in this dashboard by simply clicking that one click to that application icon on the application icon he can able to log into that application without entering username and password this is called single sign on as discussed actually and uh, i just want to uh, like admin roles there is an admin roles option called in okta so i am just want to give a admin roles so he is generally he is just user i'm just uh, i mean increasing his roles and responsibilities here i mean i'm just giving more roles and responsibilities here so i'm just clicking read only access here and save changes so now this user this user become a read only administrator can you please share your screen jitu i stop sharing my screen yeah i'll share yeah Yeah. Can you please reload your thing? Can you reload your URL? Oh, not this one. Not this one. Your URL. There is a my dashboard is there, right? Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, can okay. you please reload this one? Now you can see your admin console was changed, right? So you got every you got an access like to, you can see everything. So there is a basic level of access. This is the basic level of access. you can go and go ahead and click anything in the applications customizations and security whatever if you click on that any any click yeah. on anything uh, click on anything like uh, applications you just click on applications so you can able to see the applications what are available in okta but you cannot create integrate an application because i have an option and you don't have an option so you are not a privileged customer to this okta that's the reason you have only few permissions that is only read only access permissions so you cannot change anything in okta you can read everything what is available in you can read entire okta but you cannot do any actions in okta that is called your permission i mean i just want to explain uh, uh, i just want to explain here level of access get getting my point and uh, i can see that email do we get admin account access for the practice yeah i can provide that one and uh, i can provide that one in further because in the in the meantime and before that i want to make sure with the concepts with, with identity and access management and everything uh, because this is this this is a just a demo class right that's the reason i just uh, i'm not prepared anything actually i'm just want to explain the architecture of nocta in this class so prepared means i am not at prepared with an ppt and everything i want to change few things because i got to know that nagarj and uh, other person is also very new to this it field so i want to change the format of that ppt because i want to go with the very basics actually mm, i mean very basics means at least somewhat a few basics uh, they have to get to know what is cloud what is cloud computing types of cloud all these things i have to include in that one so that's the reason i'm just not going into the subject now today so does any does anyone have any doubt on this uh, please can you can you please unmute one by one and talk what what you get i mean if you are not understand also i don't mind please tell me because uh, i'll go through according to you hello yeah pawan this is Hi, the Pavan, admin, this uh, admin one second one second one second one second uh, jitu you can stop sharing actually yeah, yeah pawan nagarj ji yeah. okay okay nagarj you tell me Yeah, this is the uh, admin course. This one admin course or developing this? No, uh, developing is nothing but the actions. What I am doing here is will be considered as developer role only. No, okay. exactly. now these new guys is onboarded in any company, any organizations. They mm -hmm. will definitely uh, provide the work access. After that only he will get the all application access and all. You are explaining this, right? No, no, no. Actually, uh, like if you got a job in Okta, you will get an access for an Okta. there is a types of uh, roles in okta and uh, let me show you so if you join as a developer and like for example if you have an if you have an experience of 5 years of experience and if you keep some 5 years of experience and if you are working if you are trying in a job in okta then automatically you will get an option called super administrator in the company super administration is nothing but 
he can he can maintain all these tabs and he can work all these tabs and he can develop anything actually so if he, if it is a 3 years of experience person they will give like uh, application administrator he can only create an applications and he can only do the application integration he can't assign the people and he can't go i mean he can't do he can't perform all the actions if he is if the person is a fresher is is looking for a job in nokta like uh, without i mean just a graduated person i'm talking about then initially they will give as head help desk administrator then help desk admin help desk administrator is nothing but like help desk administrator is nothing but if the person even though the people sometimes forgetting their username so forgetting their password in nokta also so for example jitu forgot na jitu forgot a, use i mean password for this nokta so that help desk administrator can can only do reset password like reset multi factor and he can deactivate he can suspend and he can click on reset password and he can unlock the account so this kind of actions can do yeah now arjuna your question is something different uh, can you please tell again i mean can you please explain me yeah i have the five years of experience uh, okay. it's like uh, this is the admin side i can go to the admin side or developing side this one the uh, best uh, best opportunity which is the best i can, for, I can tell uh, for five years of experience even if you want to go for an admin admin also they will give as a developer role only but um, there is nothing to developing means uh, it is not like about developing some code or deploying something all the thing i mean uh, uh, octa developer also can do all these kind of operations only but developer will involve more with the application team and he will get the details from the application team and he will communicate with the application team so those kind of activities will be uh, going on for the developer for administrator once the details will come to that come, come to the team the administrator uh, will uh, integrate that application and uh, once he is getting any doubts regarding this application integration then he will reach to the developer the developer will ask fine uh, it, is, it is an initial step uh, how the developer will works means after integrating an application like tomorrow jitu will come to me hey i got an access for the hsbc banking app but when i clicking yesterday it's working fine and it is not working today so developer will check what happened how the authentication flow is going on i mean how the request is going how the response is coming so this kind of uh, troubleshoot will do this develop after developers that's what uh, and i i didn't find any much difference between uh, developer and administrator in after because we are doing everything even when i get a chance to work as a after admin after administrator i'm getting i'm doing all the jobs even developer also doing the same jobs and everyone is doing same job because 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 there is uh, uh, it, it octa is a very small actually i can say that octa is a very small and uh, uh, it is it is not a wide course actually it is a very small course and it is it is very user friendly a developer can do uh, i mean administrator can do anything what the developer also can do i mean what the okay developer... how much they will provide the packages for uh, three to or four to five years of experience guys and that uh, in work uh... octa packages will be minimum is the 12 12 lakhs package actually minimum is 12 and uh, i'll show something hello One yeah second. i have yes ma'am yes ma'am tell me ma'am go ahead yeah uh so do we need any strong knowledge in active directory before starting uh, an octa and do you provide that uh, training i mean to uh active directory i can say that there is one second there is uh, uh i'll i will share the video how to integrate that active directory to the nokta and i will explain the step by step process also but no company will ask to integrate that active directory with a nokta because when you join in any company it is already integrated with the nokta and people are start working on that we will join in the middle actually if it is until mm-hmm. unless if it is a new project we will start this pro- i mean we will start this part this part is there right i mean uh, this part is there right this part we are not at all going to touch actually because it's already integrated in octa this thing is already done with an octa once the project came to the once the project reached to the company it will they initially they will do this process so all the users are already available in octa we we will just focus on these things actually for the job purpose actually in the real time i'm telling about this this okay. part we need to so if at on. all we need to integrate uh, ad so do you but but i will provide everything documentation and everything how to do step by step and everything and uh, okay. it, it is very easy it is nothing but just we need to download one file in the active directory server and we need to click on uh, if you download any software in the computer you will click on like yes 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 next 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 like that right 
so it yeah. will be like that only it is very simple process that is the reason people will like this octa it will not ask any much questions once it uh, we have to go to the active directory server and we have to download that file and we have to double click that file and we have to click next 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 once it will ask the password username octa username password to authenticate will authenticate and automatically it will be installed after 2 to 3 hours all the people who are available in active directory will jump to the octa that's what it finish okay but i will tell you in detail in when i'm start looking into this okay okay and uh, i heard that uh, we have to have uh, some basic i mean good knowledge also in nothing. identity access management nothing nothing if you know what is authentication if you know what is authorization that is fine then okay there is uh, no prerequisite as, required actually for this so uh, as you mentioned that they are they are developer roles too so is it depend upon the experience we put on the resume or no for example if you want to if you have 5 years of cap you can say that i worked as a tester for the first 2 years and i worked as an octa developer octa administrator as a 3 years so they will consider 5 years of experience but you have a relevant experience called 3 years right so you can go as an no. administrator That's so all. basic i mean uh, initial step into octa is like admin role only but uh, nobody will you nobody will ask to develop something in a company until unless if you stay with them at least one year because to understand their system to understand their applications to understand their process itself it will take one year in the meantime in the, in the meantime automatically you'll get to know uh, how how the developer how the developer will work automatically then you you will get to know all the things once you join in the company but initially nobody will question you and there is uh, i mean you will not find any work related to the development actually because everything is provided by the octa there is what need to develop in octa what is there to develop in octa very few things very sometimes octa will give an updates that updates we have to follow and we have to do the same update in the in our admin console that's what like for example recently we get an update called uh, octa ad agent so directory integrations is there so we can add, like this we can add active directory see there is a company there is a company called reliance in india there is a company called reliance is having their own active directory we can click on add active directory that's all so this octa this active directory will be installed with the help of one file that's all these are the steps actually we can set up simply so it is not tough and uh, these operations will be done by the developer so that's the reason they do they are giving some hype for the developers that's all it's a simple operation it can, this, can, this can be done by the testing people also can do this i mean it's a very simple process I, that's what i want to say okay yeah next any questions uh, are there yeah, any questions uh, pawan how much yeah, how many last question for you yes yes one second one second arthi yeah tell me arthi yeah uh, so as you have mentioned there are so many tools mm. mm -hmm. so uh, what's the uh, so i just Dif want to know whether it uh, if it's good to go with octa or sale point yeah it's like uh, uh i can say that uh, damn sure i'm 100% i'm saying that octa is a good product and uh, we can go at without thinking anything with an octa because sale point or uh, sale point cyber arc and uh, ping identity federation and site minder there are many uh, many things uh, one login there are many tools available in the market but mm -hmm. if you see if you compare those things regarding the cost wise opta is very cheap compared to them regarding uh, regarding the work i mean uh, work related thing we can uh, uh, we can say that opta is a best user friendly tool see i can create an account within fraction of seconds if i get the details like first name last name username and email id but it is not like that in other tools we have to download some file we have to upload that file and we have to if you if i want to assign any application one click i can do it in the octa but in with other tools it is not like that okay this is also fine if some problem will occurs when the people are accessing that applications so the troubleshooting part is very tough compared to uh, octa other tools will be very tough we have to check from the server level but in octa they, it is very easy mm, for example if g2 will try with a wrong username and password so i can simply go to the people how the troubleshooting will be like that i'm just saying an example we have an option called view logs 
we can directly check click on this one after is providing everything um, somewhat uh, they're making people somewhat lazy also but it's a very user friendly here we can see we can see what are the actions is happening what the user is trying to access why it is getting denied every data will be recorded in this log so it is very simple to check and unlike to other tools actually so that's the reason people are choosing nocta and in future i believe that uh, the what are the projects are working i mean looking for identity and access management they'll go with nocta because uh, regarding user friendly is one thing and cost is one thing and are you able yeah. to hear yes 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 go ahead go ahead sir yeah i'm just asking like do you use any scripting language like once you um, are in a developer role or that's what uh, we have an uh, apis will be the apis are there with the help of apis also we can uh, do this uh, this kind of operations it is an automation actually but few companies are uh, using the awesome automation and few companies are not using but uh, i have an experience like uh, doing some activities like onboarding a person offloading a person with an api uh, oh. th that will be different but uh, uh, based upon the how the market will be i mean uh, i'll i'll tell those things also because we are using some postman um, some tool called postman with the help of the yeah. postman with the help yeah. of that postman we are integrating the api to that postman and we will do the operations from the back end okay. also from the back end also but uh, i felt that it is also very easy but we need to get that id and we have to just copy paste everything and yeah. uh, do some changes in postman and run it yeah. that's that's all yeah yep. i'm aware of postman yeah i'm just i was just curious like you know what tools are other we use from this opta and uh, opta is providing a input apis i mean directly after we can download the apis from the opta to the postman and opta will support postman very good i mean it is wonderful support to be provided by provided by the opta to the postman and postman okay. postman is a very good tool that we can implement all these things with the help of apis that that will be some um, i mean more than a moderate level that we will discuss later i mean once i get, once i do the do it manually then you guys will understand then i can say that yeah. oh, we can do this automation also so that at the time i can say this this can be done in the two ways one is manually one is automation so yeah. uh, i just want to discuss those at the time okay. yeah. regarding this class like you know uh, it was it was a good class for me but it, since it is a demo class so i just want to ask like uh, what timings and how many hours uh, will be given like per day yeah uh to be frankly saying sayed i just want to confirm one thing there is uh, it will take hardly 10 to 15 days to learn this after okay but if you want to uh, go go for the 20 days means i mean the requirement came from the arc i mean uh, and my company was said to me uh, like uh, they are asking me like 20, 20 days trying actually so i don't know what's there in 20 days but anyway i just want to explain you in detailly but if you are okay if you are pick up i mean based upon your response it will be finish actually if you understand okay. what i am doing then it will be better yeah. if you are not understand i'll go for i'll go with the basics and again i'll i'll dig into the lot okay so is it going to be in the same time as we joined today uh same time means uh, mm, that's what uh, i cannot say i cannot say right because it's not about the one person if you you guys has to i mean uh, if you have any whatsapp group you guys has to discuss and you just come out with the time like you give me at least two timings so based on that i can select any time uh okay. one last thing for one yes yes so do you help in building a resume and the project definitely and definitely arthi definitely i'll do that and even my training company also will do that those kind of things and uh, one thing i'm sure uh, uh, i mean uh, if you want i'll go with my pattern because for every Uh, for every i mean if few topics whatever i covered i'm just i just want to keep some examination basic examinations because if you are okay with those things that i'll also include actually i'll go with an examination yeah you can conduct it yeah that is the best way power because how so about, that i so uh, that i can understand it. so that i can understand how varaprasad will understand my concept how suresh will understand my concept how ola will understand how the people are understanding my concept actually based on that yep. if yep. because i will segregate yep. like uh, there is a user user life cycle management is section is there so i'll give five questions from that if the people are uh, the people who are not able to answer 
I mean, uh, I mean, not able to answer means they are not answer a good. I mean, they are not in a good, in good in I mean, good in score in that. So that I'll I'll separately want to cover the topic again. So that's the reason I am just planning this kind of. Uh, exam. Uh, and I I'm sure that Akta can learn anybody and anybody can crack the interview. Yeah, that much, uh, that much of knowledge you can only provide it and you can definitely. only prove that. Definitely. After definitely. that, directly and face-to-face -face situation, I'll myself only clear it. After that, only I have the idea. And yeah. I have okay. the strongly aggregated. Because of, I have the talent, I can get the job, I can do the my work. That's all. That's all. We no need to depend upon anyone. But I'll help you how the resume has to be. See, I mean, I just completed these two certifications recently. I'm just going to write the doctor consultant in the next level. So okay. this is this is just Suresh Reddy and Ola. Hi Ola. Uh, one yeah, I'm fine. One second, please. <laughs> uh, can you please people be silent? I just want to know the no. I mean, I just want to talk with Ola. Ola, how how you, I mean how the things is going? I mean how the things is understandable or not? Yeah. Are you getting my point or the, not? Yeah, the presentation is very fine, and then uh, you made it so easy mm -hmm. to understand. So, and then um, I know that the course will be very good to understand because you have actually made us to see the okay. way things, mm -hmm. the way you are able to navigate, you know, mm -hmm. through inside the application, you know, yeah. giving um, roles mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and also uh, mm -hmm. assigning applications. And, it's uh, very simple, Ola, but uh, my concern is, uh, I just want to tell you one thing. If you are, I mean, if you are uh, struggling about, uh, struggling with my language, please let me know. I'll be, go with somewhat slow. And if you feel something uncomfortable with my language, please let me know. I will change myself, okay? Regarding, I mean, I mean, according to you, I'll try to deliver some good stuff, good stuff in a good way, okay? Right. Uh, also, understand. do you provide like, maybe for example, now if I get trained and I have some challenges at work, do you, Provide like um, job support job to uh, help works. me. You know? Yeah, I can say that uh, I'll. I'm. I'm actually. I'm not getting your point actually, but I can say that I am going to give the some tasks actually. I mean, okay. I just. I just want to share share. There is a for example actually. For example, there is a task. I mean, whatever the things, whatever whatever the things we are doing in my company, I'm just okay. mimicking those things, and I'm just preparing the document. I'm just want to provide you guys because. Uh, that's that's what real time experience, right? Right. That's what real time experience, right? So, for example, uh, I have some document. So, once if I complete first phase, I just want to uh, ask you people to go with the document called. Uh, one second. Yeah, Pawan Nagajan here. I have some of my personal work. I can report now. No problem. So, for example, yeah. this is these are the case one, case one, case two. These cases are prepared by me myself. I just want to provide these cases to you. Once if you start learning an octa, I'm just ask. I will. I'm going to ask you people to implement all these things. Once you have getting any doubts in these cases implementation, we can reach out to me and we can validate. So these kind of tasks also I'm going to provide. Right, this helps. <laughs> yeah, that's what this. Uh, these are real time scenarios. These are the real, real time scenarios. I'm just, uh, I just want to implement these things with your uh, Octa admins. I mean, Octa consoles. With the help of your Octa consoles, you have to implement all these things. Okay, that's what I'm planning actually. So, like this, we have many test cases. So, once my test cases will be finished, so, so that course also will complete. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Anybody? Any question from so, Sayed? Any question from Marti? Any question from Suresh? So are they asking certification as a mandatory thing? No, no, no. I'm just doing myself as because uh, we are getting good reimbursement in my company. So that's the reason I'm doing the certifications. That's all. Uh, uh, yeah, because some of the things they just look for the certification if they are certified and they are like. Arthi, it is very easy to clear the certification also from Akta said actually. But the examination, right. examination cost is too high actually, my, but my very easy okay. to very easy to clear mm -hmm. the examination. And mm -hmm. I will support in that way. If you are interested, I'll support in that way also. Okay. 
no, um, but right now, no, but auntie, I think you'll provide some uh, job. I mean, as you mentioned, the case studies and all that. Yes, yes. Uh, if you go through yeah. the case studies, those case studies also will be coming there. So, for example, uh, uh, for I'll show you. One so, this is the, the break. Is, yeah, yeah, that is what no, this I'm is the reading. questions for octa professional examinations. Actually, I written the examinations. I mean, when I written the first examination, I remembered everything and I remember the pattern in real exam. They are going to provide like this, they are going to provide all these data and they will provide case one, case two, like this only. We have to implement these cases. Once you practice here, you can directly implement in implement in real time, right? When you are writing an examination, so it will help. You can pass with this. Uh, if you do, if you cover all these things, you can pass the basics, basic level of certification in Octa. Because exactly whatever I've written here, it is going to ask in the examination. Because I, because I written the examination, right? I just copied from there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And Sayed, any questions, Sayed? Uh, no, not for now. I mean, I think I'm good. Like, you know, okay. this test, like yeah, taking tests every, like for a module, like will help, you know, to remember things and it's a good strategy. So yeah, mm. I think I'm good. Okay. And I just want to, Ola is finished and Neela. From when does the batch stop? Uh, that you can check stuff. with uh, that you can check with Danu actually. Danu, oh, okay, Danu will sure. help you yeah. regarding those things because she has to check my schedule and she has to schedule, check all yeah. the people of your schedule because I'm working currently. I'm working in the night shifts, so I have to adjust my timings. That's not a problem, but the class yeah. should be minimum. It will be one hour. So if required, I'll extend. Actually, it is not a mandatory, but if required, I'll extend. Okay. And uh, Neela, P. Hey, Neela, is this Neela? Yeah. Hi, Pawan. Uh, yes, yes. Class of Pawan Kumar. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm seeing your name is something. Yeah, yeah. Sir, my name P. Pawan Neela Bhatlaji. Okay, I'm not able to figure it out. What is it exactly? <laughs> so, um, my mistake which came actually the name, sir, name. But I log in June, na. बेसिक uh for basic not it's not a like uh, different different cost actually every examination will be charged around 23000 but if you are planning to write examination at december 25th so you'll get an uh, around 75% discount on that day how much 75% discount on that day okay means how much it can uh, it's, it will come around 5000 for 5000 you can uh, write an exam okay okay mm -hmm. Mm, I'll provide the case studies also for that. No problem. Yeah, sure, sure. If you are interested, I'll provide some. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested to complete this before this December. The doctor examination, administration, and uh, basic hands-on experience, hands-on examination, up to two levels, I can able to help you guys seriously. Okay. Yeah, sure. Because uh, I already cleared those examinations, so I have a good knowledge on that, so that I'm assured that I can okay. assure that one. That too, I have to discuss with uh, Danu, and I'll go ahead with those things. Okay. 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 Danu. Hi Dhanu. She's in mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dhanu, yeah. it's already eight twenty-five, but I don't have any yes. issues to continue. Okay. But uh, is it required? Ah, uh, not. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what I'm guys, asking. Is there any questions any from questions? the? Any questions from anyone? Okay. No, no, you, one. no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, fine. Good, good, good. If you have any questions, even Arthi, Pavan, Suresh, and Nagarjuna is also. Yeah, when when the batch will start, actually. Just... Yeah, just just give some time because this is a weekend, right? Saturday and Sunday. We'll conclude yeah. by the Sunday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Varun Prasad. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, Dhanu, I am taking off for the day. Actually. Yeah. Is yeah. it okay? Yeah. 